Hola beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by and saying hi. It's your girl Daniela, aka Miss Four Lizard. And on this beautiful Tuesday morning, I'm gonna be sharing with you a flip through of my happy planner and everything that I've done in my happy planner in this previous month, the month of June. I'm really excited for this flip through because it means that July is around the corner. This is the last week that I'll be planning in my happy planner for this month. And I am so excited for July because all the new planners start in July. And I've already set up my happy planner for the month of July. I'm switching out the cover, I'm switching out the planners and I am excited for the switcheroo and to try something new. But I, I really do love my current setup and I'm also excited to share what I've done with her in this past month. So let's get into it. I have my cafecito here. Uh, I have this really delicious vanilla almond milk creamer in it. I tend to not drink my coffee um, with creamer or sugar. I, I used to drink it straight black 100% of the time, but I've been really into creamer for the last couple of weeks now and I need to stop. So of course I have my happy planner in the leopard sip folio because she's a diva. She needs the protection. She's also really thick because I have 10 happy planners um, frankenplant into this. So if you're new to planning in the happy planner, I don't know who came up with this term. I don't think it's specific to planning because I know in the beauty community, people can mix eyeshadows together and call, it, call that an, a franken eyeshadow or mix lipsticks together and call it a franken lipstick so it's definitely something that just i guess <laughs> crosses communities but um this is a franken planner meaning that i took several different planners and other things and i put them all into one planner and made it custom to myself and that's what i love so much about the happy planner is that it's on this disc bound system which means that you can switch things out and customize it as much as you want yeah and so she's thick though she gets pretty thick i have 10 planners in here and i only have one month the month of june in here for all my planners but she gets really thick because i have a lot of other accessories in here as well as filler paper and things like that so she's near to busting at the seams even on these in intense uh, metallic expander discs i have her on the rose gold expander discs so for the cover i have my favorite cover that came out this past year this is the desert dreams saguaro road trip planner that is in the dashboard most of my planners are in the classic size so they're on the nine discs i am switching it up for summer though because i do want something different for summer but i think i'll go back to this um i'll go back to this at some point so let's get into my planner so i have my cover page which i love i did a little color pencil scripting of my name i put a bunch of cactus and um what is this called? Dream Seeker stickers. And then I have my calendar pages. And then something new I've been doing is putting a lot of scrapbook paper into my planner because um, there's just times when I feel like I did something on a page and I didn't like what I did. And so I just kind of want to cover it up. So this, this page um, that I covered up with the scrapbook paper was actually the monthly overview for the month of January, which was the first month in this planner where these these calendar pages are from and I ended up not really using that page I tried doing a little sticker collage on it didn't like how it turned out I decided to just cover it up with a beautiful piece of scrapbook paper so that's there then I have a little plastic envelope from one of the Disney collections I have a bunch of stickers in here these are some of my larger stickers and some of my nicer stickers um, so I put them in this envelope and then I have a folder from the garden accessories pack. I just have a bunch of like clear backing stickers here and um, just paper stickers as well as some little coloring book pages from a Pusheen coloring book that I have. 
so I have those tucked in there in case I want to ever pull for those and these are just like a mix of different types of stickers there's really no rhyme or reason to what I have in there and then I have my sticky note dashboard with a bunch of Rilakkuma and Daiso sticky notes. Daiso definitely has some of the best sticky notes in the game. And I'm in love with my, with my dashboard here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. So, so I, I really love how this dashboard came out. And then I just put some scrapbook paper on the back of that and then we are into the first section of my planner. This is my gardening planner. And I'm gonna try to be sharing with you the actual planners that these pages come from because I do have only one month for each planner in here and so I don't have the covers. But this is my gardening planner. And this these pages came from this planner. This is the skinny classic feel all the feels planner. And I really liked that planner for gardening because it wasn't as big as a classic but it also wasn't as small as a skinny mini or a mini and so this was actually the perfect size for me. Um, I use this monthly overview section to kind of reflect on what's going on in my garden. I use the monthly calendar spread to write whenever I sow seeds and when they sprout. Um, and then I have my weeks which I, you know, I put pictures of veg I've grown. I like to use the gardening sticker books and I have a lot of fun with this, with this planner. I also like taking pictures of the food I cook using vegetable from my garden. So I have those in there as well. And this is where I'm currently at. Uh, my bookmark is from the gardening accessories pack and it's perfect because it has all these little herbs on it. But there is my gardening planner and on the back I've been writing my harvest log here. And I also have this plastic envelope with photos that I've taken of my garden and I just haven't gotten around to putting them into my planner so those are there. And then I have another piece of scrapbook paper that divides um, that planner section from other stuff. And on the back of it, I had just have a sticker sheet with a bunch of, of gardening stickers stuck on it. That way I can always have some gardening stickers with me. I like to keep um, a lot of stickers with me, like tucked into my planner so that I don't have to carry sticker books around. But I also like to use specific types of stickers in my different planners. And so instead of carrying like eight sticker books around, I try to just have a sheet of that, whatever that theme is in my planner alongside my, my planner or my like the, the particular section in my planner. So th these are my gardening stickers right next to my gardening section. I have another little plastic envelope. Um, this one just has little, like little paper, um, you know, paper things that I like to kind of collect, put in my planner. So I just have those there. And then we have another scrapbook paper with a sheet of mood tracking stickers. This sticker sheet was from the mood tracker sticker book. And um, it's right next to my little like mood planner. So this is a skinny mini and I have it between these two beautiful pieces of scrapbook paper and my skinny mini is from this planner here, the Wildflower Skinny Mini. And I got this first for my garden and then I realized that this was way too small for me for my garden. So I ended up getting the all the feels one and so I just had this one lying around and so I decided to um, have this be a little like mood tracker. Um, it's a place where I keep track of my mood on the calendar page and on the weeklies. I try to uh, make it be a space where I write an affirmation or I write something I'm grateful for. Um, I try to put little reminders to do self-care and it's kind of like a wellness slash positivity slash gratitude um, slash affirmation planner slash kind of journaling sometimes i'll write down something um, that happened to me during the day that made me feel some type of way or i'll just write down like something i'm scared of or something that i dream for and so it's a little bit um it's a little bit of a of a mixed bag here 
and it's such a tiny little planner that I definitely have no problem keeping up with it because I generally just write a sentence a day. Sometimes I don't even write a sentence a day, sometimes I'll just put a sticker down. And I do like journaling on the back here after the month is over. And I really love my little bookmark that I have here. These are from the Wonton in a Million, I want to say. Um, so then we have that. And then I have another piece of scrapbook paper with another sticker sheet. And these are, again, all wellness stickers. These are from the Mood Tracking sticker book. Then I have my Minnie Mouse dashboard that separates all of my filler paper from my planners. So this is a section where I just have particular types of... Um, spreads kind of like bullet journal style and i use just filler paper so i have a bedtime routine here and then i have my sleep log i do like to keep track of all my sleep statistics so i have that there i also have all my daily productivity and mood tracking journal pages here i really love these mickey mouse uh pages these are from one of the color block wellness journals let me see. I actually just showed this in a video. This is the, the the wellness journal that this came out of. The discs are different because I changed them up and I added a bunch of things to this. This is all my like filler paper and uh, like extra stuff in here. But that is, was the cover that these pages came out of. And I love these because I like to use them as a hybrid of productivity, like daily productivity sheets, as well as like journaling. Um, so yeah, I have those there. I have a bunch of blank pages in here um, of various styles uh, that have, you know, lined, dot grid, blank pages. And so, yeah, I just have those in there. Those are blank pages. And then I have a piece of scrapbook paper separating that section from my uh, first classic planner section. So this is my academic planner. I am in a PhD program, I'm almost done, I have a year left, and so this is my academic planner and I have another sticker sheet here with a bunch of kind of like productivity type of stickers and um, yeah, this is the last week in May and this was my May monthly, my June monthly, and then I have my June divider and the june monthly i do like to use color block and disney stickers in here a lot i think it's because my academic work is so dense and serious that i do like to like brighten things up i also like to use a lot of like um, pastel rainbow and colorful stickers in here for that reason um so i hear i did like a black uh, black pastel theme which is a lot of fun this was another pastel rainbow theme where i just did you know a, a classic pastel rainbow spread this one was a lot of fun this was my aquarium spread i did a little under the sea moment and then this is the current week i ended up using these painterly pastel stickers from one of the accessory packs and my bookmark is this pressed floral bookmark and actually i might change this out and put in one of the one of these painterly pastel bookmarks i might put in that the dashboard that actually came with this accessory pack is what i'm trying to say now that i'm looking at um at the spread i think putting in the dashboard that goes with this with these stickers would be super cute so there we go so yes uh there we go that looks really cute now and um these pages came from a disney mickey mouse planner it's undated let me pull that out for you. So this is the planner that these pages came out of. And I really, really liked this planner for my academics because it came with this um, really convenient section down here, which is a to-do list and a little grid box. The grid box I don't use as much, but this little to-do section, it's, it's perfect. I always have a to-do section for my academic work and so that was perfect so the fact that the this planner came with that um it was like i knew that this was the perfect planner for my academics so yeah that was oh and i also used a bunch of these little cute snoopy stickers for this spread and then this is the july monthly 
And then I have a sticky dashboard separating my academic from my next section, which is my fitness section. And these are all my fitness sticky notes um, that I've gotten from fitness accessory packs. And on the back of that, I have, again, another sticker sheet with fitness related stickers. And then I also have clipped in a sticker sheet of fitness stickers. And then this is the month, the, I mean, the last week in May and my June overview. Something that I've been really enjoying with my June overview is I divide the month into three um, sections and I kind of designate each section to be a focus on a particular body part or exercise. So this month I divided the month into three sets and the first set was my ab set, second day was my booty set, and then my third day, my third is my arm set. And actually I should fill in one of these boxes and I give myself a goal. I wanted to do like five workouts for my abs during the set and then five workouts for my booty during my booty set and so on. And this really helps me uh, like focus on a particular section of my body at a time. And then we have the June divider in the June monthly. I'm back on my stamp game, my stamp grind for the monthly in terms of fitness. This is something I used to do and I kind of fell off doing and then I started getting back into it and I have really stuck to this and so I'm really happy with myself and I think it does motivate me a lot and I'm so happy to see that I've been working out so much more in June than I have in May. It might not look like a lot to you but this is definitely how much I worked out in May for the whole month and I'm only it's only the 21st so I can definitely get in a good number of workouts in before the month ends. But, you know, I used to work out like almost every single day um, during a month. And so I've been slowly trying to get up to that level again. And my fitness, uh, my fitness planner is the wrong wrong fitness planner so this is what she looks like this was actually my first happy planner i ever purchased and i you know got it specifically for fitness to help me with my fitness game and ever since that ever since i saw what it could do for me in terms of fitness and wellness and nutrition and exercise that's when i fell in love with the happy planner and i realized that planning definitely motivates me in every single aspect of my life and that's why I ended up getting 10 happy planners because I realized that it was a system that worked for me and so I am so grateful to the happy planner for for changing my life basically and the wrong wrong it changes color scheme every month so this month everything was in this blue accent um, and so I try to do a lot of blue spreads in here because it's kind of hard to fight with that, you know, that, that really strong blue accent. So this spread, um, well, generally my fitness spreads aren't too decorative either. I, I tend to not do too much in my, like decoratively in my fitness because I just use it so functionally and space is precious in my fitness planner. I feel like I don't have enough space in here to do everything I want to do. Um, so this uh the spread i i generally tend to use fitness stickers from the fitness sticker books from the happy planner or recollections and i also ended up using this really cute recollection sticker book that has a bunch of like um legendary uh monsters and uh this was the following week and again i went with a blue theme i used some washi tape i was i've been really enjoying using these like pre-planning sheets um and then this was the this was last week actually and this one was a lot of fun i liked what i did here up at the top with the florals and little unicorn cats this wasn't the best week for fitness though i ended up only working out once this week and everything else was a rest day that's because i did a brutal killer run on monday i did um this run called tecolote canyon it is almost two hours it's almost a two hour run it's almost um eight and a half miles long and it's it's intense because of the elevation gain i burn about a thousand calories in two hours so that gives you an idea and i'm always really sore after so i just ended up taking the rest of the week off and then this is the current week i have my dashboard 
uh, from the pressed florals in here and I kind of want to switch this up because well I guess it's too late now um, it's kind of like red-ish and the spreads are so blue that it kind of like has it contrasts with it but um, yeah so this is the current spread and um, I again went with the blue theme and I used these really cute rhinoceros stickers uh, in the spread um, kind of random, but it's okay. It's fun. Yeah, and I have this hydration tracker on the side. I have my little pre-planned um, sheet here taped with washi tape to my dashboard. And then we have the July monthly, which is going to be pink. I'm really happy for that because I tend to enjoy the pink spreads a lot more than I enjoy the blue spreads, but it is what it is. And then we have another... Um, what is it? Another scrapbook paper separating my next section, which is my household section. And for this, uh, this section, I use a dashboard. And this is actually the planner pages that came with um, this guy, the Adventure Awaits planner. So this, these are the pages that came with that planner. And this is my household section. So I have a sticker sheet with a bunch of household stickers on it. And I also have some just clipped into here as well. So these are like shopping stickers, cleaning stickers, laundry trash. I also have a page of like meal prep stickers. These are from the recipe sticker book. And I also have a page of stickers of just like pet related stickers because I do also use this planner for um, anything that has to do with my, my doggy, my, my pug, P Bugs the Pug. Um, so this is my household planner. This is the last week of May and this is the June monthly. I'm still trying to figure out how to use the June monthly for my, or like the monthly overview for my household planner, then the June divider. The June monthly spread, I do use it kind of, but not really. Anything that anything that's like significant in terms of household stuff, I'll make a note of here. But um, generally, like I don't use it too much. But um, yeah, so this is my household planner and it has everything to do with my household and making sure my home is running smoothly. Um, it has everything also to do uh, with my car, like car maintenance, um, anything that has to do with my dog. It also is a place where I have like all my errands, of course, my shopping lists, um, things like that, meal prep, everything that's kind of like homey and household related goes in here and um, the dashboard is perfect for this because it already has two sections of errands and to buy so that's perfect it also has a section for bills to pay and calls or emails and I generally tend to not use those because I already have a budget section which is going to be the next section I'll show you so I tend to just not uh, use the bills section the calls and email section I'll use sometimes depending on if I have calls or emails to make concerning my household but i tend to not use that section either so yeah this was uh, i didn't do too much this week and then this was a pastel rainbow like under the sea theme and then i just have a floral farmhouse theme here i also have grocery lists i tuck in here this is the current week i have my bookmark and i went with a purple theme here I also have a little habit tracker. This is for walking bugs. I try to make sure I'm walking him regularly. I have my grocery list here. And then this is my dashboard. Um, yeah, I use this little section up here. Dashboard uh, planners always have this little section up at the top, which is just, it gives you like um, the Monday through Sunday uh, days and just a line. And I like to use this section for um, my five minute tasks, I call them. So I have these, uh, I have a task a day that takes me at most five minutes. And I try to make sure that I do it on the day that I say I'm going to do it. So on Monday, I have to water my spider plant Tuesday, take out the trash. Wednesday, wash bugs' bowls. These are little tiny, tiny little tasks that 
um, that I need to do every single week for sure. I cannot go without doing these tasks. But I also don't want to do all my tasks on one day. I try to make sure I'm spreading them out throughout the week so that way I don't overwhelm myself like on Saturday trying to do all of my tasks and errands. And so I call them my five minute tasks and I try to make sure I'm doing them. And on the days themselves, I tend to do, um, I write out like any meal prepping I have to do as well as any other chores I did or have to do that day. So there we go. That's my household section. This is the July monthly overview. And then I have a piece of scrapbook paper separating the next section. And this is my budget section. And uh, these are budget stickers. And something I like about the budget planner, these pages come from this planner, which is the good things happen to those who budget planner. And something I like about this planner is that the discs are metal. This is like one of the only happy planners that comes with metal discs when you buy it. Yeah, I really like that. Something I like about this planner is that it has these plain like grid sheet pages at the beginning of each month. And so I like to decorate them. And so I used these color block stickers from one of the Disney color block Mambi stick packs. And then we have a monthly budget review, the June divider. And then I have my June monthly where I put all of my bills. And then I also like to um, give myself a stamp for, you know, that not spending any money that particular day. And this week, this month hasn't been too good in terms of not spending because I've had a bunch of expenses come up. Um, but that's okay. So that's my June monthly. And then, and I'm just gonna flip through this section um, because I have all of my financial information in here and I don't want to put that out to the world. So we're just going to skip that section, but um, I'll show you what the actual pages look like. Uh, oop. So let's, let's show you. So this is what the pages look like when they're blank. It's just a, a two pages of like uh, monthly bills, saving, tracker, accounts and debts. And then you have a page for each week for your weekly expenses. And then, yeah, that's it. So just keep track of all my spending. And then on the back, you have just a page where you can write notes and things. Then we have another blank grid page, which I decorated with another Mickey Mouse sticker and some stamps. And then the July monthly budget review. And then I have a scrapbook paper uh, separating my next section. And so this is my nonprofit work section. And for this, I am using a classic vertical. This is the Stephanie, I, for I always forget the name of the founder, but this is this planner. It says, define your passion and nurture your creativity and take hold of your dreams. I got this planner when it was like 60% off. A lot of these planners I got when they were 60% off. And so I only paid like $6 for each one um, for, for most of these. And this is my nonprofit and my community service work. So this is everything that I do, you know, on a voluntary basis for some humanitarian cause. And I like to use wild style stickers in here. And so I have a bunch of wild style stickers as well as um, a couple of sticker sheets. I actually, this is all the stickers that are left of my wild styled sticker book because I have used it so much that I am almost done with it. And so I just stuck them in here so that I can use them up. So this was the last week in May, and then we have my June monthly or my June overview, which I sometimes use and sometimes don't use very much. And here is the June divider. So I also got this planner because everyone was saying that it was super neutral, like it didn't have any color in it. And I thought that was perfect because I wanted something that I could draw in because I am an artist. Uh, as like I act actively work as an artist for some of my organizations and so I'd like to kind of draw and doodle in my planner um, as part of my work for these organizations so this is the, the, the June monthly and 
the first week in June. For some reason, in this planner, I really like having very muted and uh, kind of like black and white spreads. So I tend to use a lot of those type of stickers. Um, maybe it's because I'm so bright and colorful in my other sections that this is kind of like a palette cleanser for me. It's a space for me to like experiment with like more neutral muted colors. And so this is the current week and my little bookmark is from one of the Disney bookmarks. I actually did this um, last night because right now we're doing a fun little project where we're sharing uh, stories and experiences of like um, of diverse peoples in the outdoors. So that's what I mean when I say that like I liked the neutral format because I could draw and doodle in the actual pages themselves. Um, for my organization uh, so there we go and then we have my july monthly overview which i doodled this logo for my organization and i just pasted it on there so that was my nonprofit work and then i have another piece of scrapbook paper i love um, using the scrapbook paper to divide my sections because it's so uh, pretty but also functional. And on the back of that, I have a bunch of fun stickers um, for my next section, which is my creativity section. Um, this was kind of like a mishmash of all of my fun and creative projects. Mainly, I like to uh, practice my Japanese in this section and also plan out my YouTube. I'm also learning um, Python, which is a computer programming language as part of my work. Well, I don't need to learn it for my work, but it'd be great if I knew how to do it so that I could continue to grow. So it's kind of a side project thing for me. And also, um, what else am I doing? I am I also try to use this planner as a space to make sure that I'm continuing to paint and uh, do artistic things that aren't just, you know, related to my nonprofit work. It's just something for me. So I'll show you how that, what that, what this month looks like. So this is my June monthly overview. I don't use this one either that much, to be honest. Um, I'll write down thoughts I've had. I'll write down monthly goals. This month I didn't. Um, I don't really use the important dates and birthday section in this planner. For the monthly overview, I'm using the stamp tracking method where there's four things that I like to kind of keep track of in this planner and that's my YouTube. So every time I upload a video, I give myself a stamp. Uh, my Japanese, every time I have an hour long Japanese lesson, I give myself a stamp. Uh, Python, which is that computer language, every time I have an hour of Python, I give myself a stamp. And then art, so every time I give myself a time to do some art, um, I give myself some a stamp. So as you can see, I have a mix of things going on here. And then we have my first month, and this is a lined vertical with a color block format. And this is the second planner I ever purchased from the Happy Planner. Again, I got it for like 60% off at Joanne's one day. And it says, yay for today on the front. And yeah, I think this is called the Celebrate Planner. And it's so much fun. It's so colorful. And I really like this format, the color block format with the lined vertical for Japanese. For language learning, like the lined vertical is perfect. And so... I tend to give myself a little like five minute Japanese um, lesson, mini lesson, like I'll, I'll take five minutes out of my day, I'll write something in Japanese. And yeah, and I also use this section to plan out my YouTube videos and uh, plan out my Python. And so this, this planner is very, very fun for me. Like I try to just have fun in it. Um, it's super colorful, so it kind of lends itself to that. I try to use like really bright, fun, colorful stickers in here. I just try to have as much fun as possible in this planner. And uh, mostly I tend to use it for Japanese, to be honest. So this is the current week here. I have my little Don't Quit Your Daydream bookmark. And for this spread, I used some floral stickers as well as some kind of pastel -y stickers. Oh, and I got these stickers from the Happy Illustrations sticker book. 
And then we have the July monthly、uh, overview. And I had a lot of fun with this page. So these are.、Um, This is from a coloring book, a little mini Pusheen coloring book. I love Pusheen. And I, I really like that coloring book. And I'll color a page. And I've been really enjoying, after I finish coloring it, I've been enjoying just kind of cutting it out and then like、um, putting it into my planner and, you know, decorating it. So here I cut it out. It used to be a square that was about that big. I cut everything out and I kind of made it into this little、um, design and I added some, some stickers around. So I had a lot of fun with this. I'm very happy with it. And then we have another piece of scrapbook paper. This is a floral scrapbook paper. And we go into my next section, <laughs> which is my scrapbook slash memory keeping section. I like to use a lot of、um, color block stickers from the Mickey Mouse、uh, sticker book. So I have a bunch of those stickers here. And then this is the last week in May before we go into the June.、Um, into June. So this is my scrapbook section. This is basically kind of like a journal slash planner. Like here, I plan out all of like, my social events with family, friends, boyfriend. You know, colleagues, everything that has to do with my social life goes in here, but I also try、uh, tend to use it as like a journal and a memory keeping. And so, yeah, so I also like to, you know, just put a lot of pictures in here. So, this is a picture when we went to、um, Anza Borrego Desert State Park a couple weeks ago. And I tend to use this page as kind of like、uh, memory keeping. I'll put pictures here. I do end up using the holidays, birthdays, and special dates section here. Um, and this is the June monthly.、Uh, the June monthly, I just I decorate and I also、um, write out like important things here. And then this was the first week in June. We went on a camping trip, me and my boyfriend. And so I have a bunch of pictures from that. I also, we, we also、um, went to go. Capture a wild honeybee swarm in someone's backyard.、Um, I'd study honeybees、uh, as part of my career, and so yeah, sometimes I get called up to do things like that. And yeah, and so like I tend to journal、um, in extra space. And then this week I didn't do too much, and I just used a variety of stickers. And then this was last week. I should probably move this dashboard. Okay, this week was a lot of fun. I had a lot going on this week. Yeah, and so there was so much going on this week. This is actually one of the best weeks of the year because I had so much fun and I had so many things going on this week. And it was right after my final exam on Monday. And so it just felt like it just it was a bomb time. And so I used. One of the new sticker books that I got, I got the、um, Jungle Vibes sticker book as part of a, a gift to myself for passing my first year exam. And、uh, I love how it turned out so much. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. And then this is the current week. And as you can see, I, do, I don't really like plan in it. I mean, I do plan in it. Like, I have my sticky notes telling me that I have things going on. And I also use this to like remember. So, You know, I had a phone call with my boyfriend yesterday, and that was not planned. But after it happened, I just put in a little sticky note so that I remember that that happened. Because at the end of the week, I'll tend to go back in and then I'll like decorate everything, I'll you know, write down things that happened, in, and actually put them on stickers like on the page. And then I'll journal. And we have my July monthly. And oh, I totally forgot to show you like what planner this came, these came from. So, actually, I don't have a planner to show you for this one because I got this as a six month extension pack. This was an undated Mickey Mouse extension pack in the vertical format. And because it's an extension pack, 
I don't have an actual planner to show you and actually that's one of the reasons why I picked up this guy because so I got this guy this was a, a wellness journal so it's the one that has these pages on it and I got it not only to get the pages but also this one was on clearance at Joann's and I just wanted to get a planner that I could put on expander discs and then add like all of the extra stuff that I have going on um, inside of it so actually um, so this these this is where I have all of the other months uh, for this planner so because it's an extension pack it didn't come with like rings or a planner cover so I have here all of the months um, that of this extension pack tucked into this planner here and then we finally have come to my last section at 46 minutes so I have another piece of scrapbook paper tucked into here and my sticker sheet on the back of it with all of my themed stickers for this section and this is my reading journal section so this section the pages come from this horizontal classic um, book club planner which is so 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 cute and that one was perfect for my reading section so this is the section where I journal concerning everything that I'm reading. So I'm a big reader, I love to read. And journaling about whatever it is I'm reading really helps me engage with whatever I'm reading at a deeper level. And so I've been really enjoying it. And so the, the monthly overview, I'm still playing around with it. I definitely like using this little like um, checklist as my little vocabulary list of new words I've learned and then I also just like adding like decorations so I have little I like putting in little um, tea packet tea packets in here because for me like hot drinks and reading go hand in hand and I'm still trying to figure out what I like what I want this little birthday book section to be but yeah this is the June divider and then we have the June monthly and the June monthly I tend to use it kind of minimally I'll write down when I have when I start a book um, when I finish a book when I buy books as well as any book club meetings that I have um, that that's what goes into this monthly and on the sidebar here I'll write down books that I finished in the month and give them a review and then uh, yeah, this is the first week in June. I've been loving using this like old-timey paper uh, scrapbook paper to decorate and I got this um, book this like book lovers sticker book from Michaels, which has been perfect and yeah And I tend to just like um, journal about whatever it is I'm reading and sometimes, you know, I'll miss a day and that's totally fine but I tend to write a lot <laughs> so uh, yeah and I just write about whatever it is I'm reading I also write down um, vocabulary that I learned definitions so there we go and then this was last week I really liked the spread and then this is the current week here let's see can you see that hopefully you can see this yeah so that is the current week and um, yeah, I love this dashboard. And that is it. <laughs> we finally have reached the end and my happy planner is busting at the seams. Um, as you can see, it's like so, so hard to flip when it gets to the end because it's so chunky. But um, yeah, that is my happy planner. I really hope you enjoyed this flip through through my solar system, through all 10 of my planets. It really is a galaxy. <laughs> and that's just how I like to do things. For me, planning is a passion. It's a joy. It's an artistic and creative outlet. And it's also how I manage to organize all of my interests and hobbies and make sure that I have the time and energy to be able to do all this stuff. So, and honestly, like once you set it up, um, you, you don't really, it doesn't really take a lot of time to, to maintain because uh, between stickers and drawing and doodles, it really, you can definitely um, fill up pages really, really quickly. And so I would say like, definitely do not get intimidated 
by by how many planners people have and how big the planners are especially if you've never been someone to sit down and have a planner because it's not necessarily all about planning per se I don't really use a lot of these planners as traditional planners. I use them more as like workbooks and scrapbooks and journals and um, a way to keep tabs on myself and my activities and to motivate me as well. So yes, I, I love planners. I cannot say enough good things about planners and the Happy Planner in particular because the Happy Planner is so customizable, which is fantastic for someone like me who needs a lot of freedom to thrive. So there we have it. Um, thanks for checking out this, this uh, Peter Jackson directed saga of my Happy Planner and I'll catch you in my next video. Adios!